Hey, what's up everybody? Today I just want to talk about a very cool app that is available on uh, the iPhone, the iPad, and also Android devices. It's actually available for your um, desktop computers and things like that too. It is called invoice to go and it is a very useful tool if you have maybe a small business or um, a business of any matter and it helps you to send everything from um, invoices to estimates uh, to purchase orders, credit memo, things like that and it helps you to actually keep track of things like that on the go. Um, for the iPhone it is $9.99 um, right now I just have the trial app um, which it's free so I'm just been uh, kind of experimenting with that. Um, for the iPad it's available it, I think is $14.99 um, it may have some more features than the iPhone but it's a little about five dollars more and for the and Android phones, it's uh, the same as the iPhone, it's $9.99. And I just kind of want to show you um, what I do with the app and how I make use of it. I uh, have a company called Junkin' Jays. Um, basically, it's a small business, and what we do is we're a junk removal company. You know, if you have junk in your, uh, in your house that you want to get removed or a foreclosure home, or storage unit or a yard and you just need stuff cleaned out we also offer cleaning services and basically we're that full service company so I'm just gonna go through and show you how I make an invoice on it and then I can send it to my customer and they can print it out for their records and it also sends a copy to myself and I can have that then for my records and it makes it a lot easier you know if you're just for me it's just kinda like a, a starting up business and this way, you know, at the end of the year and you want to claim taxes, um, this helps to um, get your stuff in order. So I'm going to start by opening up the app. And once again, this is the free app. And as you can see here, I've already programmed in the name of the company. My name of the company is Junk and Jays. Um, and then you have choices from invoice, estimate, purchase order, or credit memo. Then down here you have things such as folders where you can save invoices, paid invoices, um, and drafts of what you're doing there. Um, you have products. Basically, all I really offer is junk removal. So I have, I'll start here at the bottom, I have a full truckload. Um, and if you click on that, you can see I charge, my rate's $185 per truckload. And I do tax on that. And then I just put down here in the description, uh, one full truckload because that's what it is um, and I did that with things too like I have tires and paint on here I do get charged extra at the landfill to dispose of tires and therefore I just charge the five dollars per tire removed so and then we have clients in this case I just made an example I have John Smith and there you can fill in things such as their email their billing address their contact details um, their shipping, if your company has things to do with shipping, um, and miscellaneous, and notes maybe on that customer. And then in the settings, you can do things such as set up my logo. You can uh, set up a logo of your company, which I've done. Um, and there's just a bunch of things you can do under here. Uh, such as, you know, details, my contact information, add my phone number, and things like that for the uh, invoices and things like that. And you can actually make a thing where you can uh, have them pay directly to your PayPal, which I'll show you here in a second. And then there's the tax type and uh, email messages. I do send a copy of every invoice or memo or estimate I do to myself, so I always do have that on file. And comments, um, documents, backup, and things like that. But I want to get into just showing you how I can make this invoice and I'm going to go to new and I'm going to just make an invoice this time and it will bring you to this right here and now I want to do customer name. Now you can add a customer name and you can actually choose from oh, come on your contacts or clients. In this case I'm just going to do clients and I'm going to choose John Smith and all of his information which I've entered previously will be there and I'm gonna to go to save and now I'm gonna to go to items and in this case I'm just gonna say I removed two and a half truckloads 
of junk from his uh, rental house. And I've already, I can either type in what I've done here, but I've already um, pre-saved this stuff. So I can just pick from product list. And I'm going to pick one full truckload. And I'll hit next. And now I actually cleaned out two and a half. So I'm just going to do two. And I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to add another one because I need to, I did two and a half. And I'll add a half truckload. And I'll hit next. So it's 105 for a half truck load, and I'll hit save. And then I'll say maybe John had, um, you know, five, five old tires that I had to remove too. So I'll add those items too. And I'll go into tires, hit next, and he had five tires. So I'm going to exit that out there and add five. And I'll hit save. And he also had wanted me to clean out. Um, and clean up after the last tenant um, you know it was all dirty and stuff so I'm gonna have my cleaning fees and we'll say that um, you know it was 600 square feet and I charged 20 cents per square foot so I'll just hit save there and now if you look down here it will show the subtotal the tax um, the total and paid now Paid, I can either say he was fully paid and I'm sending the invoice saying here's a receipt or if I'm requesting money, let's say I, I'm going to request money, I'll just um, take that off of the time and part pay, part payment, but um, let's say he paid $100 down. <clears throat> so we'll save it there. And then down here at the bottom, I can add a comment. For instance, I'll say like, You know any additional comments I just put I removed all debris from under the porch so I'll save that and then now it is it, it's done and I can actually go here and I can preview what it will look like and it shows here um, I can just go over it and make sure everything's right and then I can actually email it now let's go ahead and email And it has it to his email address already. It's sending a copy to me, junkinjays at yahoo.com. And it, I just uh, put in here, thank you for using Junk and Jays. Um, you can do that in your settings. Basically, it will do that for every invoice or uh, memo you, you send. And they also have this, which is pay with PayPal. So they can actually pay you right there through PayPal, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and send this. And now that I've sent it, I can go into my computer, actually. And they'll receive the same thing. And I'll open it up here. And it says invoice from Junkin' Jays. And click on it. And then they can just click on it. Continue. And download the invoice right to their own computer. And you can see here. That here's the invoice. So it says one full truckload. Quantity was two. At $185 a truckload. So it would be $370 and so on. And down here at the bottom, they can actually have this feature right here to pay with PayPal. So they can actually just click on that right there, sign in probably with their PayPal account, and they can make that option to, to pay me. So invoice to go is definitely a great app, especially if you're a small business. It helps you keep track of your invoices, your estimates, your purchase orders, and all things like that. You know, you can customize them a lot differently than I have. Um, and there's also more things you can unlock f from actually purchasing the app because this, once again, this is just a demo, but I already did all that. So, um, definitely a great app, definitely something you should check out if you're a small business owner. So please subscribe, and if you have any questions or if I can help you out um, through setting it up, I'll do whatever best I can. Um, so, thanks for watching this video.